Welcome back. So now let's look at problem two, uh, example problem two in topic one. So I realize I have not uh, shown how you would uh, submit a problem and then uh, see it accepted. So let's uh, go through that uh, once uh, so that you can see the process. So uh, we will try to solve this challenge. So this is example two. Um, so you are asked to, we are asked to output information of two houses. The first is the house that had the highest price among all houses with the two or three bedrooms. The second is the house that had the least price among all houses with uh, four or five bedrooms. Uh, and it's guaranteed that uh, the answers are unique. So the input format is the same as the previous problem. So I will not uh, uh, go through them in detail. So I'll first uh, write the uh, solution here, and then we will uh, explain the code in more details. Uh, so I will need uh, uh, n. So re first read the number of uh, uh, houses. And uh, then I will need the information uh, for the two houses. Uh, the the one with uh, the one with the uh, two or three uh, bedrooms uh, with the highest price among those. So I will use the uh, uh, that call that house A. So I'll store their information here. So this I'll just use a very large number because I'm the second house is the one with the least price. Okay, and. Um, then oh, I didn't have that uh, repeat macro there, so here I'm just going to write uh, this. So this will repeat the body uh, n times, um, and each time I will need to declare the variable for the price, rooms, footage, Dec read them in. And uh, then we will need to check whether in, if the number of room is uh, two or three. Then uh, if the current price is uh, higher than the, the maximum price we've seen so far, then we will remember the information of the current uh, house. And uh, if uh, the number of rooms is uh, four or five, and so let's uh, use some variation, and the current room price is less than the the current maximum uh, current uh, minimum minimum price I have remembered, uh, then I will remember this house. Okay, so after loop, this will be, should be done. So I output the house information. So this is uh, representing a one space character, one white space character. A footage. And, um, OK. 
Okay. So then that first around it. Okay, yeah, I had a typo here. There should be double equal for uh, comparison. Okay. Uh, so I missed the space uh, somewhere here. Okay, so now when we submit, yeah, so in addition to the sample test case, uh, there can also be hidden test case. Uh, in uh, actual competitive programming, oftentimes uh, passing all the sample cases, uh, absolutely no guarantee that you will pass all the test uh, hidden test cases because there may be additional uh, corner cases that you need to consider. But here in CP0, I, we try to make uh, uh, any corner case available, at least in some sample cases. So there's a high chance that you should pass uh, if you pass all the sample cases. And if you fail a sample case, then you can look at the sample case and see uh, what should happen and use that to debug your, your code.